And I think for many of us, we, we, we come into the whole Christian faith as a consumer, not a follower, but a Jesus consumer. We talked about that last week. Um, Jesus started talking about how things were about to get bad, you remember? And Peter pulls him off to the side and says, whoa, don't go negative on us, you know? Stay positive, stay positive, you know? You're, you're, you're the guy, we're the guys with the guy, so as, as you go, we go, so, you know, stay positive, this is working for us. And remember what happened? But when Jesus, remember this from last week, but when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and he said, get behind me, Satan, he said. Why did he say that? Here's why. He says, you do not have in mind the concerns of God, but human concerns. In other words, you're a consumer. You're following me for what you get out of this. At some point, Peter, you've got to open up your hands and let go of your agenda in order for me to put my agenda in your hands for your life. And it's okay to start that way. But at some point, Peter, okay, you got to give up on this. We got, we got to move to something else. And there's where the tension is. That's well, here's what Peter about. says. I mean, it's all about Peter. Hey, Jesus, we've left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? Because, hey, you know, I mean, I don't mind following and giving up some things, but surely there's a big reward at the end of this, you know? What's in it for us, right? And then at the very end of Jesus' ministry, when he's arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane, the New Testament tells us that all of his followers abandoned him. They all unfollowed Jesus all at the same time. Unfollow, we're not following. Why? Well, I mean, if you're arrested, we're liable to get arrested. There's nothing in this for us. There's no benefit to following you. So see ya, don't wanna be ya. And they all abandoned Jesus all at the same time. Why? Because they were consumers. I mean, they were following as long as it worked out for them. Hey, you know what? We all, I think every single one of us started that way. But here's the interesting thing. After they all abandoned Jesus, when you get to the end of the New Testament, they're all back. And Jesus forgives them all. And this same group of cowards that just used him, used him, used him, used him, used him, this same group of people went into Jerusalem, into the rest of the known world, basically, and gave their lives, not for what Jesus taught, gave their lives for what they said they saw. Not a crucified Jesus, that happened all the time. A resurrected Jesus. And in that moment, Somehow they gave up on their personal agenda and they embraced God's agenda for the world and they embraced God's agenda for their lives and they became fully fledged followers of Jesus. But it took a while, it was a process and not all of them made that transition. 